Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing a video on how to replace Omnibar. If you are anything like me, you've experienced Omnibar making you reload your UI. And I lost an arena game last week, and that put me over the edge. I lost one single game, and I was looking for a replacement. So the add-on I've been using is Gladius X. And normally what people use this for... <laughs> is they use it as like an s arena replacement or like a arena frame replacement it's really good actually so if you want to replace s arena as well and have all into one that's fine you can see you know the enemy team their cooldowns you can even see their globals which is crazy you can even have it for your party if you wanted to so if you had like party settings you can have it so show party frames so you can have it for your party which is cool and if you want to do that that's fine this video is just about how to get it to look like Omnibar. By default, this is what you're gonna, it's gonna look like. You're gonna see the arena frames. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to disable everything. Every, everything you see on the left-hand side, you're gonna disable it until all you have left are cooldowns. Next, you're gonna go into the general settings of the add-on. And in, when it says unit frames, frame background color, you're going to turn this arrow all the way down. So it's completely, you don't see any background behind the add-on. And then finally go to the cooldown section, go to group two and remove this cooldown group. And that's gonna get rid of the trinkets on the side. And now you are left with this. You are left with arena one, two, three cooldowns. And you could see everything that the enemy team has. Now, if you wanna make it look like Omnibar, what you're gonna wanna do is go into the group one. And you could also delete group one and just make a different group. That's fine too. What I do, and I'll show you is I disable all, and then you can go into category and then do interrupts and then you can enable all. So now you only have interrupts from the other team, which is amazing. So that's how you get only interrupts. And then to make it look like Omnibar, scroll down in general, and what you're gonna wanna do is detach group, and then group uh, group by unit. So that means any of the Feral Druid cooldowns that you're tracking, they're gonna be grouped together. And then you're just gonna move this to where you want it, and then you're gonna lock it. Make sure that in general you lock frames so that you don't get that little text box from the add-on. The next thing you're going to want to do is you can add a second group. So add a cooldowns group right here. So you have group two. And you can do like burst, burst cooldowns right here. That's where you can name the group. And then you can go into category and make it so offensive enable all, which is cool as well. But I don't really do that. I like to handpick, but just for the video, you can do that. And then you, again, you go to detach group. It should be somewhere right over here. You can group by unit. So now it's going to rearrange. So all the warrior cooldowns are next to each other, the pally cooldowns are next to each other. And then you can scale it you can do whatever you want you can move it around so icon size here you can see you can make these bigger and what i tend to do is i tend to change these on cooldown available it's completely dependent on what you like this is how i have mine set up so i have the when it's available it's 0.5 uh transparency so you're gonna be able to see it but it's not gonna be fully filled in and then what's on cooldown, I see it. And it's the same for border transparency. Animation, I don't really care much about the animation. I do have it so when the cooldown is active, I have it glowing. So if like ice form or ice veins is available and it's being used, it's glowing. And then icon size is 38. And then, yeah, I do the same thing for both the burst cooldowns and interrupts. But this is what my Omnibar looks like. Um, the one thing I wish I could change is make it so it's centered, so it grows from the center. And I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I see center right, but I tried figuring, figuring it out, but... <laughs> I can't get to work like that. But that is pretty much it for this add-on. Very handy add-on. It has replaced Omnibar. I've, I've actually deleted Omnibar. I am really happy that I found a replacement for it. And if you have any other questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.